I think that people, when they start to look at their property from a, what should I do? Because that's what we're talking about now, right? It's February. What can I do to this property in the next several months that is going to make a difference next season, right? And as reflective on last season, number one is food. And and for most people, that's limited, right? Because of equipment, because of terrain, you know, if you've got 100 acres and 80 of it is open, then food besides like cost of seed and equipment is not really limited, right? You've got plenty of places. But if you've got a 100 acre block of timber, you're limited in what you could put in there, um, you know, which is why, you know, I bit the bullet and paid to clear out an acre of food behind my house and it changed the entire property. Like mm-hmm. one acre of food, we didn't see less than six, seven deer per sit last year, whereas we may see six or seven deer in a month <laughs> before that. Yeah. Um, just makes that big of an impact yeah, on a, a property. Re- reason to be there. 